Now let's try to break into a WPA network. We'll start with detecting available access points. To do this, click on the listening icon again. Two monitors pop up. We've seen them already. This time, we're not interested in web networks since we already know the key to the detected network. We'll focus on WPA networks this time. The program has detected two such networks. One of the networks is actively used at the moment. The BSSID of the first network is DD underscore WRT, and AD is the value of the end of its MAC address. We compare it against the end of the address that can be seen at the bottom. They match. We can conclude that the first network is the one being actively used. The next step is to click on an icon you can see below in the main window. We'll select the DDWRT network in the new window. Breaking into a WPA protected VLAN amounts to cracking a pre shared key. In the case of WEP, which is constantly vulnerable to attacks, even a good configuration of all settings doesn't mitigate the risks. With WPA networks, the attack is based on the assumption that the key will be easy to crack, and that it can be found on a word list of a given language. As you can see, we have two such word lists prepared. One is shorter, the other is longer. For the purposes of this presentation, we'll start with the short list. Everything has been configured. It's enough now to click on Attack. The attack can be apparent in this case. If a network user is really using it actively, for example, downloading large files, there's a possibility that our actions will disconnect and reconnect him to the network. He'll experience a connection drop. As Wi-Fi users, we're used to a connection disappearing sometimes and that it can become weaker or slower. In this case, we're trying to force a user to re-authenticate. We'll check each time whether the password submitted by the user can be found on our shortlist. As it turns out, it can. The password for the attack network is password. The two presentations provided examples of typical infrastructure attacks, breaking into Wi-Fi networks. You were able to see for yourself that protecting Wi-Fi is up to you entirely. Appropriate countermeasures can simply be not using web, and in the case you're already using WPA, deploying a second version of the protocol along with implementing strong passwords. The best solution is to authenticate users through a RADIUS server. Thank you.